So, the Ferrari won the race to Verbier. This year, Ferrari won the Formula One World Championship again. And when we look at our lap board, we find that it's headed by a Ferrari. So we thought it would be a good idea to teach them a lesson. So look what we've got down here. Yes, it is a Renault Formula One car. You see, the thing is, Renault called us up and they said they reckoned that this could get round our track not in a pedestrian 1 minute 19 seconds. They said they reckon it could get round in under a minute. This is the actual car that Fernando Alonso used in the last three races of the 2004 F1 season. But while it's ready to race, unfortunately, it's not ready to go. You don't just turn the key in a car that churns out 1,500 brake horsepower per tonne. A car that can go from 0 to 125 and then back to 0 again in 7 seconds. In fact, you need a team of 16 highly qualified engineers just to get it going. And then you need someone with nerves of steel to drive it. Sadly, Alonso was busy. But that's OK because we have just the man for the job. Yes, this is Stig's birthday and Christmas present all rolled into one. So, let's see what he can do. And he's off. No Grand Prix car can accelerate as fast as the Renault. So much torque in that thing, and here's the proof. In just six seconds, he's up to 150 miles an hour. Right through the first corner, he's keeping it at a steady 125. Oh, look at that grip! Right, now, up to Chicago. Here we go. Oh, traction control keeping the back end in check there as he powers down now toward Hammerhead. I've never seen those bumps in a road car before. Now, they've, they've fitted the uh, Monaco steering rack for this twisty bit. Oh, well, it's work. No understeer, no oversteer, just a bucket load of power. Now he's kicking up spray there as he buries the throttle. Already he's up to 171. Slowed down a bit for the follow. Oh, 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 look at that! Final straight, he's faster still. 183 miles an hour as he breaks for the second to last corner. Over half the lap's been done at full throttle, but can he really have got round in under the magical minute? Well, it was greasy out there, and yeah. there were big puddles, which did slow him down a bit. Yes. The Stig did it. 59 seconds. Yes. Is, though this is only for cars with ashtrays and noses that you can get over the uh, over speed bumps it's only for road cars so I'm afraid Richard if you'd like to take that down oh, no. I think it should stay. <laughs> I'll do it then <laughs> I'm afraid we can't have it but there is some consolation because you know earlier on we were showing you that uh, today's road cars are as fast as racing cars from 20 years ago well, it stands to reason that in 20 years' time, you'll be able to go as fast as that on the A34. And on that cheery note, it's time to end the show. Good night. <laughs>